California for a third day now. Tens of thousands of residents in Orange County had to evacuate last night as two wildfires threatened neighborhoods. The Silverado fire and the Blue Ridge fire both started on Monday and quickly exploded in size due to the strong Santa Ana winds. According to Cal Fire, as of yesterday, the Silverado fire has burned more than 13,000 acres. It is 5% contained. Southern California Edison said a power line may have played a role in igniting the fire. Two firefighters were critically injured and are in the hospital right now. Another three received minor injuries. And just to the north, according to Cal Fire, as of yesterday, the Blue Ridge fire has burned more than 15,000 acres. It is 0% contained. No word on what sparked that fire. Nearly 9,000 people living in your Belinda and Chino Hills have been forced to evacuate. So joining us now is the chief of Orange County Fire Authority, Brian Fennessy. Chief Fennessy, good morning. Good morning, Lauren. So uh, l let's get an update because uh, there, there some containment. Uh, fortunately, San, Die San Diego was able to avoid some of those, the stronger winds that Orange County saw. Can you tell us what happened overnight? You know, the fires are, are continuing to get larger, but uh, their growth are slowing. The, we've seen a decrease in the uh, Santa Ana wind significantly, and so that is it, that is helping substantially. Um, you know, we're, we're very uh, hopeful that we're going to continue to uh, gain ground, and uh, we're going to have these fires, you know, extinguished here by, by the end of the week. But... Um, it's still going to be warm, it's still going to be dry, and it's going to take us some time to get a uh, fire line around these fires. Yeah, and of course, everyone is thinking of the two firefighters who were critically injured Monday. Do we have an update on their condition? Well, you know, I, I was with them and their families uh, late last night, and they're, they're still in a fight for their lives. They, uh, uh, doctors uh, say that that first, you know, 24 to 72 hours are, are critical. Their their bodies are fighting, you know, the infections and and the oh, you know, what the the birds have done to their their bodies. And well, they're still uh, they're still with us, so they're 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 fighting, putting up the good fight. And so we're hopeful, and uh, we're all praying and and uh, doing all we can to support those families. Yeah, they have a, they have a lot of prayers going out to them, uh, certainly, and it's it's a sacrifice, and it's very serious uh, when when we see these fires happen and when they are burning so quickly. Uh, you get that that burnover that we've heard so much about. Are we still in those kinds of conditions, or has that dying down of the Santa Anas really helped as far as uh, it being a little bit safer conditions for these firefighters? Well, we, we still have extreme fire conditions, but it is, uh, you know, once you, you, you take that wind component out or, or the winds decrease, certainly you're in a less explosive situation. But, you know, we were experiencing winds on the fire of, you know, gusts of 70, 80 miles an hour. Um, Ontario Airport shut down all operations, both inbound and, and uh, leaving the airport, which is, is really unprecedented. I can't recall the last time we've shut down all aircraft on any um, fire and uh, having been out there myself, it was it was unusual. Usually, you know, we'll see San Diego and, and Los Angeles north of us. Um, sometimes the winds are more times than not are, are stronger than here in Orange County. But this uh, uh, this event, the winds were really focused in Orange County, and, and we saw a fire move in ways that, um, quite frankly, were 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 faster than we've uh, seen before. The green vegetation, the center medians was burning. Anything that could burn was burning. Yeah. As far as uh, the next couple of days, uh, is there any anticipation of, of more containment or uh, the winds being in your favor? Do we know what's ahead for the next few days as, as this fight continues? Yes, exactly. We are going to see containment numbers go up. Uh, we're going to see um, Neighborhoods, communities repopulated are being allowed, uh, are allowing them back in. Um, you know, the weather is, is going to remain warm, but with the winds uh, decrease and uh, the number of aircraft we have assigned, we're getting a lot of retard around the fire. So we're going to make, uh, we're going to make hay here in the next, you know, two to three days. And my understanding is there may be more dry weather uh, ahead and potentially even more wind. So we're in that, 
we're in that time of year where we're going to experience three to four days of, of um, offshore uh, winds and, and very dry conditions, and then uh, that'll move that'll move uh, to the east of us, and we'll get cooler, uh, more onshore flow, and we're just in that cycle um, yeah. that we experience every fall. Right. Well, Chief Fennessy, I know it's been a long night for you, so thank you for joining us and our, our continued prayers for those two firefighters. And just uh, thank you for all the work that you and your firefighters are doing. Appreciate it. Well, we, we appreciate all the support from San Diego County. We've got uh, considerable help up here from all the fire departments in San Diego County. And so it means a lot, not just to, to me, our firefighters, but the families of our, our two injured firefighters. So thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Be safe.